Hello class, welcome to my video with me Miss Devi. So in this topic, we will learn together about an important topic in math and especially in science. We are also gonna take a look at a particular system of measurement called the metric system. Objects have different physical properties, right? Like size, weight, and also volume or etc. Well, the whole point of measurement is to quantify those properties, which means expressing them as a number, or we can call it measurement. So, without measuring, you couldn't say that someone is short or tall, or that package is heavy or light, because those are relative terms that don't give us very specific information. Instead, if you were to make actual measurement, you could say that someone's height is 150 cm or the package weight is 7 kg. Measurement use an actual number to describe properties like that so that you can know them more precisely. Centimeter and kilograms are example of what we call unit measurement. So, there are four units of measurement. There are length, mass, capacity, and also area. So, for the first, we will learn together about length. Length have a definition, distance or how far from end to end, or from one point to another. You can say that this greater have a length 1 meter, and this girl have a height 150 centimeter. Because you do a measurement. To find the height and length, of course, you need a tool to find height and length. All the tools are standardized, like ruler, measure tape, furnier caliper, and micrometer screw gouge. This glitter have a weight 1 meters. We also can convert this unit to another length unit measurement. There are 7 units of measurement in length. There are kilometer, hectometer, decameter, meter, decimeter, centimeter, and millimeters. To convert from matter to another unit measurement like centimeter and millimeter, for example, we want to do converting from matter to centimeter. That means we have to go down two steps down. That means we have to multiply one meter with one hundred because we go down two steps. So it's equal one hundred centimeters. Or if you want to convert matter to milliliters, so we have to go down three step down. That means we have to multiply with 1000. So it's equal 1000 milliliters. Is it easy? Next, about mass. Mass have a definition, a measure of how much matter is in an object. You can say that this maid have a weight 70 kilograms and this bar gold has a mass 1 kilogram. So to find the weight of something, you need a scale to standardize the measurement. For example, this bar gold has a mass 1 kg or 1 kilogram. And if you want to do comforting from kilograms to another unit measurement, we have to do like a previous comforting. From kgs to grams, we have to go down three steps down. That means we have to multiply with 1000. So 1 kilograms is equal 1000 grams. Or, if you want to do comforting from kilograms to milligrams, this means we have to go down 6 steps down. 
Yes, mean we have to multiply one with one million. Yes, mean one kilogram is equal one million milligrams. Next, we will learn about capacity. So, capacity have a definition, the amount that something can hold. For example, this glass is hold 300 milliliters of water, or this pool can hold 2,500,000 liters of water. And in this glass, this glass can't hold 300 milliliters. So we can do a converting from milliliters to liters. That means we have to go up three step up. That means we have to divide 300 with 1,000 because one step we have to divide with 10. That means three step we have to divide with 1,000. So 300 milliliters is equal 0 0.3 liters and the last we will learn about the area area have a definition the space occupied by a flat shape or the surface of an object for example this land have an area 10,000 meter square and this dock waiting inside one meter square floor If we want to do comforting of the area of this land, this land have an area 10,000 meter square, we will want to do a comforting for meter square to hectometer square. And we have to go up two step up. Because the index is square, so for one step up, we have to divide with 100. That means if we go up two step, we have to divide with 10,000. So 10,000 meter square comforting to hectometer square, we have to divide 10,000 divide 10,000. So 10,000 meter square is equal one hectometer square. Now let's we do an exercise together. Question number one, the mace of newborn baby is 3 cages. Is it true or false statement? This is a true statement because kilograms it shows unit measurement of mass. So let's read a comforting from kilograms to grams. Because from kilograms to grams, we have to go down 3 step down, that means we have to multiply with 1000. 3 times 1000 is equal 3000 grams. And for equation number 2, the capacity of a bottle is 2 liter. This is the true statement, because liter it shows the units of capacity. Let's we do a comforting from 2 liters to milliliters. So from liter to milliliters, we have to go down 3 steps. That means we have to multiply 2 multiple by 1000 is equal 2000 milliliters. But what if you don't have any tools to do measurement? Don't worry, you can do an estimation. For example, if there is an elephant, or you can say that this elephant have a weight about or around 9 boxes, or this girl have a weight around or about Eight babies. Do you know not all of the countries using the same unit of measurement? In Indonesia, we using metric system of measurement. 
like kilograms, grams, meters, and kilometers. But in another country like US and England, they using the measurement called imperial units, like pounds, feet, inch, and miles. Let's we find out together the relation between metric and imperial units. So this is the relation of metric and imperial unit in length measurement. So, for example, the question will be, the distance between Jakarta and Bandung is 150 kilometers. Approximately, how many miles is this? Well, we know the relation between kilometer and miles is 0.6214 miles for 1 kilometer. So, we can write 1 kilometer is equal 0.6214. 214 miles. So, because the distance between Jakarta and Bandung is 150 km, so you can write down 150 km is equal x. We have to find the x value. So, we can do a cross multiplication and we will find x is equal 0 0.6214 times 150. So, x is around 93.21 miles so for the relation in mass measurement we'll find the relation like this and the equation will be the mass of 11 3000 kilograms approximately how many pounds is the elephant well for 1 kilogram is equal 2.2046 pounds. So we can write for 1 kg is equal 2.2046 pounds. So for 3000 kilograms of elephant is equal x. And we have to find the value of x and we can do a cross multiplication and we will find x is equal 2.2046 times 3000 so x is around 6613.8 pounds that's all for our lesson today and thank you for watching and see you on the next video. Goodbye!